Hello, how can I help? Open ebook. Okay. It's one of those moments when you sort of recognize how unintelligent these devices are. And that is not to say that I don't recognize that to have a device listen to you and respond and speak to you isn't in itself a really amazing technological development. But, you know, the fact that it has sort of been described as artificial intelligence, and yet when I look at my shopping list and it has names of people on it, <laughs> there's something very unintelligent about that. And so there are these little moments, I think, when I'm reminded that I'm engaging with artificial unintelligence, I guess. <laughs> what did your battle with Alexa and Siri and other speech technology devices sound like? The specific battle that I have, um, in, it's, it's rooted in the fact that I have an accent that isn't considered to be standard. Although I'm a native speaker of English, my English doesn't sort of fit into any of the Englishes that are offered on these devices. So I have to sort of make a choice if I am setting the device to an American English speaker or British English speaker. My accent just doesn't quite fit. And if we even sort of step aside from the personal assistants like Alexa and Siri and we talk about things like banking, automated tellers and drive-through windows. It's the same kind of problem. So banking, for example, if if I'm on, on a phone call and an automated assistant asks me to spell my name, my E as an apple sounds very much like an E as in echo. And so I don't get very far. The second letter in my name is an E. <laughs> but the second thing I'm beginning to notice is that these devices are very much disciplinary. They are really designed to recognize a certain kind of pattern in the way that we speak. And so, so to interact with these devices, I have to speak, um, sort of step out of my dialect. I think the more, the more philosophical battle is, is what that means for a, a native speaker to be disciplined by a device. I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago that went through and has a history of colonialism through French occupation, Spanish occupation, British occupation. Tobago also went through Dutch occupation. And one of the, historically, one of the first practices that colonial masters did as part of the colonizing act was to address language, was to rob natives of their language and to impose language on, in this case, slaves that were bought, brought to the new world. So the idea of language and discipline has always gone hand in hand with regard to colonial experiences. And so philosophically, one of the things that I think a lot about is the way that um, devices like Siri and Alexa act as and sort of new imperial masters that it's this constant disciplining i'm sorry i didn't get that i'm sorry can you say that again um that that constant training of my accent so that it could be understood are you optimistic at all for the future of speech technology Am I optimistic? I am optimistic. I am very excited about the kind of civic discourse around bias in technology. I'm excited about the kinds of technical communication programs um, and professional writing programs that are talking about this and preparing graduates to step into those positions to advocate that we are moving away from conversations about just ethics and technology and starting to talk about social justice and technology. So I'm very excited about the civic discourse around this. Practically, I feel I, I feel a certain kind of urgency and just sort of thinking about the adoption of these devices in schools, in prisons, in courthouses, when the training data is still Midwestern. It means that 
there are voices that are going to be policed that aren't represented in these training corpora. That feels urgent to me. I think a lot of the change is going to happen where people from the community who have identified a need are sitting with the community and, and redesigning these technologies. So I'll, I'll end on that good note. I am optimistic. I am hopeful. But there is work to be done. Alexa, can you spell Towson? Toast is spelled T-O-A-S-T. -A Alexa, can you spell Towson? Towson is spelled T-U-L-L-S-O-N. Alexa, can you spell Towson? Chosen is spelled C-H-O-S-E-N.